Welcome again to City Scene. As promised, we're now going to uh, learn about a pretty active organization in Calif California. In California, yes, but <laughs> primarily in Camarillo, the uh, Camarillo Council on Aging. And uh, with us tonight is Marlon Block and Jay Evans. And helping us again is our old friend Sandy Seekins, who's pinch hitting. Thank and, you. And uh, welcome, welcome to the show. Thank you for having us. Um, well, give us uh, give us commercial about the Council on Aging. What is it all about? Okay, uh, Congress passed the Older Americans Act, and it was recently uh, renewed in 2015, which provided a structure throughout the country uh, for municipal governments uh, to put together a, a structure to focus on seniors. So we have the Ventura County Area Agency uh -huh. on Aging, sure. and then in each of the cities, um, the city councils appoint a council on aging. So the Camarillo Council appointed uh, a five-member executive board um, to do two-year terms and we act as an intermediary uh, between the council, seniors, organizations, and agency serving seniors. Okay. We meet third Tuesday of each month except for August and December at three o'clock at the Community Center on Burn Lane. Excellent. And, uh, and how long have, are you two in the midst of a two-year term? How long have you been involved? Is that? I'm in my second term. I picked up a term from someone who left, so it's been about a year and a half that uh -huh. I've been working with the council. Jay? And I'm in my second of uh, a two-year term, so I've been involved for a, about two and a half years. Oh, excellent. Oh, it's wonderful. So the focus of CCOA is for Camarillo seniors to become aware of these safety nets. Can you explain what those safety nets are? Yes, we're using the term safety net um, to refer to uh, not-for-profit uh, organizations in the community who provide services um, for seniors and others, um, either at no charge or on the a need basis. Right. Um, and differentiating those from uh, governmental Okay. Agencies. Okay. okay. And then this is all leading up to a community workshop next month? Actually, yes. In the month of October, we have a what we consider educational panel presentation. So we're going to have uh, four not-for-profit organizations in the community um, be on a panel. Uh, we have a presentation in the first half of the uh, event and then a question and answer. and. Um, this is our um, third educational presentation uh, done by uh, the Council on Aging. And these are going to be held where at? At the City Council Chambers okay. uh, at from uh, 10 a.m. to 12 noon on the October 27th. Excellent, excellent. So then within these um, assistance agencies, you have a program called the 211. What is that? Yes, uh, 211 is a county funded um, information and referral program that is both a phone number, 211, and a website, 211, and um, it's operated by uh, Interfaith uh, Children and Family Services, and uh, it provides referrals to health and human services in the community. It's kind of been described as a, a 411 for social services. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, that's what it sounds yeah. like. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And um, and also, I mean, we've got some. You, you touched on one community center, which we'll get back to later. But uh, certainly, the Camarillo Healthcare District has a wealth of, of resources and services as well. Yes, they do. And uh, in fact, they part of their organization is the Ventura County Wellness and Caregiver Center, um, and it's operated by the Camarillo Healthcare District. And they're on our panel. Mm -hmm. um, and then the uh, obviously camhealth.com is their website where you can get information about their programs, their adult day program, um, and other both evidence based and recreational type um, activities that they present throughout the month. Yeah, um, and they send out a quarterly. Healthy Attitudes, mm -hmm. uh, which is their 
catalog of events and activities. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So let's, we got some images that uh, Marlon and Jay can describe for us. This is, this is the school colors here. This is your logo. That's our logo. Very cool. Got the Camarillo Bogan Villa in there. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we do. That's pretty. And, and that's our beautiful uh, new poster billboard, uh, I don't know what banner. to call it, banner. banner. We, <laughs> if you see us in participating in any kind of activities around Camarillo, this comes with oh, us. This is kind yeah, of new, yeah. the new yeah. little uh, Very cool. Aging Smarter logo. This is, this this a, is the community meetings. So yeah. two in September, two this month and two next month. Yeah. yeah. This is associated with a village to village uh, feasibility study. Okay. Right. So we can maybe come back to that if you sure, want to flip sure. through some more images. Yeah. Um, uh, that is the flyer for the uh, local safety net presentation that we just talked about. And that's for the other um, part of the feasibility study, the presentations we're doing. And our close-up of our little Age smart, logo. something everybody should think yes. about, I guess. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> live well and definitely. age smart. Yeah. Uh, the survey is going to be part of the feasibility study, uh, too. It's, it's a package, big project we're working on. Uh, this was one of our biggest projects last year. You should see this everywhere, whether you're a senior or not. No, see, yeah, well, they're, they're definitely at City Hall. Yeah. They definitely have right. those at City Hall. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's, uh, we actually advertise our educational presentations by putting a utility a bill insert in the, right. mm -hmm. from the city yep. of Camarillo it goes out to 20,000 households that yeah. get their city mm -hmm. services. Great way to get the word out. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. So you keep talking about this feasibility study. What is that? Okay. Well, there's a concept. Uh, it's called Village to Village. It's a nationwide uh, program that different communities have adopted. It, the first one was set up in the year 2000 in Boston. And the, uh, the whole idea is a concept of having a kind of a community-based, volunteer-run uh, association of people that allows seniors, especially as they age, to have access to all the kinds of services that they might need with a kind of a concierge approach. Anything from a handyman, or I need a teenager to help me undo a bulb in the ceiling, or I need help finding a doctor, or I need a ride, any, any kind of service that you can would, imagine. Would it be established through like a separate website, or? Well, it's, it, yeah, that's, a, that's part of it. It's an, or, we're, we're, in the, we're in the feasibility study stage right now to determine whether the people in the Camarillo and Somas area would even be interested in okay. it. There are two uh, villages right now nearby. One that's been established for the past six years in Correct. Santa Barbara, which okay. is already existing, and okay. we're trying to get some information from them, visit them, see how they operate. And the Conejo Valley has just established a village that is in its um, formation stage. They're not live yet. They'll start providing services in April of next year, 2017. So I'm a senior. How do I find out about this? Well, we're going to have four different, uh, maybe maybe more, but right now we have four scheduled presentations, community meetings, two in September, two in October. They're on the um, flyer that we sent, that we showed just a little while ago. They're going to be on the, are they going to be in the utility insert? I don't think they no. are. No. But we have advertising coming out about them in the Acorn, um, and there'll be information all around. Mm -hmm. And at these meetings, we'll share information about this concept. Um, we'll also ask people to complete a survey so that we can actually determine from the people who come to these meetings what the interest level is, what the kind of services are that they might be interested in. They can also pick it up at City Hall. You could pick it up at City Hall um, and also at the Senior Center, right? right. Yes. Wonderful. And that's how we're going to put all the, the information together to determine whether it's really a feasible right. Right. project. Right. And then um, sort of... Uh, Looping back to what we talked about earlier about some of the safety nets, I mean, um, we talked about the healthcare district and the 211 system, and there's the VC caregivers, Catholic charities, uh, VC Jewish Family Services. So these are all these nonprofit agencies, right, that you talked about under? Yes. Yes, these are all nonprofit agencies operating in, in Ventura County, but obviously including um, providing services to clients in Camarillo. Right. Yeah, absolutely. How many seniors do you expect to touch with this program? How many seniors do we? We're, we're looking at numbers right now. We actually oh, yeah. are looking at numbers. Very good. 
The, uh, I think we'll use Caneo Valley uh, Village, which is the one that's getting op going operational in Thousand Oaks. And they're projecting, it is a membership, uh, even though it's not for profit, it is a membership. There are membership fees, but they're looking at trying to, to start with membership in the vicinity of 100 to 150. Okay. Uh, people. Very okay. nice. And, and, and you, so you're focusing on Camarillo Somas, is that correct? Okay. Okay. You make it geographically concise, um, and uh, because you want it small enough, because it's neighbor to neighbor, um, but your neighbor in this case may be on the other side of Camarillo, sure. Sure. but um, not next door, but but still a neighbor, and right. that's the. The, the graphic on the, the flyer was neighbor to neighbor. Right, got it, got it. Well, we're getting a high sign from Chad, um, and um, so we all, I know we also wanted to touch on, uh, we, we should be remiss, we don't mention the Pleasant Valley Senior Center, which is another great, great uh, resource for seniors. Absolutely. Um, so is there anything uh, real quick we didn't touch on that you'd like to mention before we go? No, we just like, would, again, thank you for the opportunity uh, to be on the program. And we invite all seniors to uh, check information out at the Senior Center right. and uh, come to our meetings, our monthly meetings, and, and look on the various um, vehicles to keep track of what we offer. Um, and what, what, are the, what, what are those vehicles, the, website? We're, we're on the website, that we're on the city's website. Okay. So if you go on uh, cityofcamarillo.org and Go up in the search box and put in Council on Aging. It brings up um, our agendas, our minutes, uh, other, other information uh, for seniors. Right. Wonderful. Thank well, you. Keep up the good work. Thank, thank you very much. Appreciate it. And we want to thank Mary Moranville, who was here from SEAG. And we'll be right back. Alexis will be right back with our uh, On the Town feature. Please don't go away.